Hey guys, Shot the Monkey here. So, back again. This time we're on some Water Tank Splits in Tier 4 in the DW2. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the full name of it because although I do speak some German, uh, I'm not going to attempt to try and summon phlegm with a throat as dry as mine this moment in time. So, we're just going to refer to it as the DW2. So, Tier 4, Tier 3 game. We are one of two heavy tanks in the match. The enemy team has a single heavy tank in the form of the Matilda on the opposing team. And because it's a single heavy match and there's a single heavy tank per side and there's a single objective in the middle of the map I'm going to try and be reasonably aggressive although not recklessly so uh, as their T61 and our T61 are determined to be and I'm just going to make my way up to the middle of the map put a shot into the T61 as he's engaging with ours um, the 75mm gun on this tank is pretty nice in terms of the damage that it does for its tier but as you can see I have an 11 second reload on it so I'm quite capable of being uh, beaten in pure DPM trades by most if not every tank in this game uh, we can see the enemy Tilda's pushing up so I'm going to take advantage of the fact he's going to show me his side and put a shot in there uh, just trying to keep aware of what tanks are moving in and what tanks are in what position and who can and who can't shoot me uh, another nice shot into the Matilda which we get full damage on 200 hit points thanks to the uh, perk that we've got Bouncing shots off the side and arse of the tank here from the A20 and the cruiser 4. There's also a Chiha in front of us and the Matilda has now moved into a rather well, position in which he can't shoot us. So I'm going to pull back, use this crest as a little bit of concealment, push up again as this cruiser 4 makes his way in, ricochet both these shots and the shot from the Chiha to put one back into the cruiser in return. Like I said, if you can take trades on your reload, your damage output per shot is uh, pretty significant. As you can see, I'm being hit by mainly 60 damage shots coming in and I'm putting out about 170 odd each time. Matilda's pushed up quite aggressively, he clearly wants to fight with me. Uh, I'm not interested in a fight with him where he gets to shoot me for free every time, so I'm going to keep backing up. Put one blind there into the A20, who I don't think was moving even though he had disappeared from sight. So I'm pretty sure that one hits him, and it's going to leave him on fairly low health. The Chihar's pushed up quite aggressively, and here comes the 14 TP on full health. I'm going to auto aim towards him whilst looking for the Chihar. I'm going to finish the Chihar off. 14 TP misses his shot, and I'm going to back up again. It appears the A20 managed to either dodge or just ricochet the shot put into him early on from blind fire. Matilda's trying to look for a shot into me again, but he whiffs the first one to the ground and then sails the second one straight over the top. So both the Matilda shots into me have missed. 14 TP is still playing quite aggressively and he's quite a forward position, so I'm going to uh, poke forward here, put one straight to his side, 165 damage and damage his track. He's also being shot by my teammate as well as I'm keeping him spotted. Uh, and I'm just going to see if I can bait out a shot from him, but he shoots the teammates, so I'm going to pull forward, hit him again, fairly low roll damage, 154, but blows his tracks off and forces him to use his repair kit. You can see the Matilda pushing up quite aggressively, I have no interest in being shot in the side by that guy, so I'm going to push up uh, in the uh, opposite direction, and I'm going to get into his team. A20 here has loaded gold ammo, so he can start penning me for whatever armor he likes, so I'm going to go and have to deal with him. Uh, unfortunately just use the reload booster so I'm doing this on an 11 second reload but we're going to push in here quite aggressively and just take this fight. Managed to ricochet one off the side which is going to prove very useful with the way this fight ends up. Go for a round, 5 damage dealt to me, 21 damage dealt to him. Uh, back up, he's going to put one straight for the front for 130, I'm going to hit him for 168. Keep in mind his gun calibre is technically larger than mine, that's the 76 on there. So the fact he's doing less damage than me per shot indicates that he is using gold ammo. Uh, because of the damage reduction in, in World Tank Splits. And his shots into me are going to leave me with just two health left, which is just enough health to finish him off. And that's it, there's only one person left on the enemy team. So we're going to push up here. They're probably going to be sat at the back of the map in this bush because this is a notable location for which everybody can be in. And there we are, BT7 on full health, who's just been taking a lot of many shots. So one straight into the side of the turret, 176 damage, still firing standard ammo. Uh, he's trying to shoot at me, so I'm going to try and show him a bit of my tank that hopefully I can be able to back shots off because if he's going to fire at me, then he's going to be wasting his time. You can see another round strikes the wall there, so I'm going to pull forward and fire at him again, put in 71 damage. And he's on 68 hit points, and I'm quite happy to sit here and not risk being killed and uh, let my team move up and finish him off. I'm going to go forward again because the gun's almost reloaded, and unfortunately, we denied the kill. The M5 Stewart shot gets there just before us, but that's the game seven kills, and four of them belong to us. So, end game results, 2,346 damage done, 4 tanks destroyed, and we are looking at uh, a grand total of 954 base XP in a tier 4 vehicle. So, here's how disgusting the DV2 can be when played right. Hope you guys have enjoyed, thank you all for watching, see you next time.